Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. If Tinubu gets APC ticket in 2023, the North will dump him for another candidate. FFK. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever we're reaching you today. Thank you very much for your massive support. We truly, sincerely appreciate you. Thank you. We want to say this morning, um, wherever you're reaching us from, we're keeping you informed with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Today, it's about Tinubu. We know uh, the person of Ashwaju Tinubu, who was the former state governor of um, Lagos State. He has made himself a political godfather in many terms in Africa. And um, Tinubu recently has been at loggerheads with some of the northern governors who are also elected in the platform of APC. And so um, Femi Fani Kayode is telling us today that if he gets the APC ticket, hmm, the northern northerners would dump him. But let's get to the news and get all the details. Former Minister of Culture and Evasion, the administration during the administration of ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo, Femi Fani Kayode, has said that former Lagos State Governor Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu will not get the APC ticket in 2023. Femi Fani Kayode made this statement towards the end of his Zoom interview yesterday, where he gave reasons. Igbo presidency in 2023 will be difficult considering the people at the aims of affair in Nigeria. The Cambridge alumni who shared the video of his interview on Facebook and Twitter account said, former Lagos State Governor and international leader of the APC, Bola Tinobu, won't get the APC presidential ticket in 2023. According to Mr. Kayode, the people that matters in this present government want power to remain in the zone. It is now come to 2023 and will do everything to achieve that. Mr. Kayode went ahead to say that if Tinubu manages to get it, the North will dump him for another candidate from the North who will fly the ticket in opposition of his party. Mr. Kayode who asked people to watch as his prediction in politics is 8 over 10% correct on the political situation of Igbos in Nigeria, Mr. Kayode said that Nigeria, including him, owes Igbo apology and must do that. He mentioned the ill treatment given to Igbos in Nigeria before and during after the war, according to him. Igbos were forced to exchange any amount they had in banks after the war for just £20. He recalled how their properties were looted during the civil war, all in the name of abandoned properties. He also mentioned how Igbos were left behind in Nigeria until Lushe Gwambasanjo came and gave prominent Igbos like Obi, Eze, Wonsi, Dora, and Professor Chukwu, Chukwuma strategic positions in the country. He stated that Good Luck Jonathan also continued in that line. He re regretted that everything changed in 2015 when Igbos were called 5%. He recalled his discussions with Unan de Kano when both, were prison, when both were in prison, saying that he felt Kano's pain on the plight of his people after listening to him. Mr. Kayode said that Igbo presidency in 2023 will heal Igbo's the wounds of the civil war, stating the reforms should be part of Nigerian constitution to allow people to decide their future and not a few people from Asurok. Well, my people, you've heard the matter. Um, I kind of concur with what um, Minister Femi Fonikai Ode, former aviation minister, is saying. Because the truth is, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu is at loggerheads with many um, northern elites talking about governors, senators, ministers, uh, House of Representatives members. It may look like the North will not allow him to get the presidential ticket because, you know, they want power to remain with them, which is quite unfortunate. 
you know. It cannot remain in one zone. And they do everything humanly possible to get this done, you know. But it ought not to be so. Why? It will ha it's high time we come to a position in Nigeria where the votes of the people matter and where the, what the people want, they get. Not we voting for one person. They tell you to vote. Yes, you go on the polls, you vote. But guess what? In all they show, now what they want, now then they do. That's the country that we are. They will tell you that they are voting. Oh, we have uh, put, put, but really and truly, it's not what you voted oh, that is the result of INEC. There's even the one where, you know, court begins to decide. There's a lot of issues that needs to be resolved in a Nigerian political setting. Honestly, truly, and really. A lot of issues. We know that Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu is seriously eyeing the uh, presidential ticket. You know, he, 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 we've seen his, um, his, his items of campaign being released gradually vehicles branded uh things like t-shirts and caps those things are already coming out gradually you know he wants to be the president just like you know he's also he has he has he has control of um, of uh lagos you see without him that's the political god for that reason we are talking about whatever if he wants to become a governor in lagos you have to go pay homage you have to belong to mr Jawa, uh, ashiwaju's camp otherwise you're going nowhere and guess what we heard of a recent uh, coalition which himself and the uh, Aero 5 were trying to make. Apparently, what was happening was Aero 5 himself won't be president. They may Bola Tinubu be vice president, but to say Lai Lai Kai. I was the one who nominated vice president Yemi Osibanjo. If I wanted to get there, I would have done that. What I want is presidency, not vice president. And uh, Mr. What did they call him himself? He wants a president. So that's the bone of contention between those two. That's the issue on ground between those two. They are still at it. So you see, there's a lot of issue regarding that matter. Uh, what's his name? He also wants to be a president of, uh, on his own. He wants to be president. He doesn't want to be vice president. He wants to be president. The person of uh, uh, Kaduna State, uh, Governor. Talking about Aerofi. Aerofi wants to be. Aerofi himself, he won't be president, not vice president. Ashiwaju wants to be president, and that's where the bone of contention is. And as such, these two are ready to do anything possible to get into that position. They are working to Tane, working hands day and night. Why? You know, so they are trying to pair to say that, okay, you are from the north, I'm from the south, so it, it makes a good combination for president and vice president. But my dear, uh, this guy not a budge. And with the matter on ground now, you know that um, there was a recent uh, occasion that they all met. And guess what? <laughs> hey, Aero 5 clearly stated it loud and clear. He said, you know what? Eh? Uh, myself and Bola Tinubu is not my man. He's not my friend. He kept reiterating it. He kept repeating it again and again that Bola Tinubu is not my friend. He's not my man and he's not my friend. He kept saying it. He did not stop saying it all through the time he was there. Even went as far as explaining how an opposition can actually take over a, a, a legal state. You know one of the things he said? He explained. He said, look at it. Eh? Hmm. All this godfatherism you are talking about in a Lagos state, that if you don't belong to Bola Tinubu, you cannot see. If I want to become the governor of Lagos state in four years' time, I will begin work today. That was what Erufai said. That's to tell you the level at which his heart is with regards to Bola Tinubu. He said, I will start the work today. What will I do? He said, I will start going. To, he said, they noticed that Lagos State people don't vote. They don't come out. So they use their votes and all that. And before you, a lot of things happen during the election. So he said that was what was giving Bola Tinubu the edge. That what will he do? He will go to the grassroots. He will start going to the people from today. Approaching them one after the other, building relationship, getting acquaintance with them, and giving them confidence that him coming is to help them, is to help them see and to alleviate any kind of, you know, he said he will go to the grassroots. He said, let him come and see how Godfatherism, how he will not win Lagos State. That was what he said. He has looked at it, he has calculated it, because I tell you, it's not a secret. It's not a secret in this country that Bola Tinubu is in charge of Lagos State and he rules, uh, you know, in the political setting, he's a godfather. Look at what happened to the former governor. The minute you say you want to break free, the minute you say you want to become a boss, it dumps you like a bag of rice. 
he dumps you on the ground and you land. Bo, yeah, that's what happens. So he said, you know what? If I want to, so that's to tell you that the North is really, you know, they are not happy with Bola Tinobu. Anyway, my people, this is the news of the hour. What do you think? Don't forget to leave us a comment, like and share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless and bye for now.